yo, listen. I remember writing this track so clearly, and I think in terms of coming up with a hook, it was actually one of the easiest and quickest to write. We kind of found a gecko beat, and then that was it. Me and James just quickly wrote a hook in like the last half an hour of our shift, which was amazing. And the lyrics kind of just came to me, and the lyrics are there with me when it feels like I'm drowning, when I can't see the light, you're the one reaching out for me. And there's countless times in my life um, times that should have been my loneliest, when I wholeheartedly believe that God has been there for me, that Jesus has been there for me. We kind of started to write this track around, um, I don't know if you've ever heard it, the story of the disciples in the boat and there's a storm and then Jesus stands up and he just silences the storm and he tells the storm to be still. Um, so we kind of wrote it around that and this idea of even in our storms that Jesus can calm it and Jesus can bring peace. But there's also another verse I absolutely love in the Bible and it says that even when we don't know what to pray for, um, God himself will step in, will be cheering us on, will be praying for us, will be wanting the best for us, even when we can't even think about praying to God or talking to God. And I think that is what reaching out means to me, that even in the points when I'm at my lowest and my low, Jesus is always there and Jesus always wants the best for us and has a plan. Yes, reaching out. As Gina was saying earlier, like me and Hab, you know, we both came up with the idea for the hook. We start putting words to the melodies um, in the hook, and then we came up with like a brilliant like concept and idea where we we believe as Christians, like God is always reaching out for us. But on the verses I'm talking about, even when I was not a Christian before I became a Christian, I was in a dark place. So in my verse which is like the first verse, like four bars. So it goes, used to be the guy with the belly on, living in the dark with no lights on. But now I found a savior who gives me hope when I'm down. Basically, I'm just talking about times where I was like in a really like bad place, in a dark place. But for some way, somehow, some reason, God was like reaching out, whether he's like sending someone to like come and knock on my door to preach or that just giving me a sign like God was always reaching out for me, that he wants me, that he wants to have a relationship with me, even though I didn't even know him then, you understand? So that's what, what that first verse was about. Second verse, which is another four bar, it goes, Give me the beat, let me switch it up, so that's keep your flow, can you feel the love coming from above? Nothing compared to the one from above, nothing compared to the Lord of Lord. Basically, I'm just saying now, like, I believe and I've experienced it, so now I'm feeling like a different vibe since I gave my life to, to, to Jesus. So like I'm in a, in, a, in a different in a different place, like mentally, physically, spiritually. I've seen like God done like done some amazing stuff in my life and in some of my you know friends and loved ones' life. So that's what that second verse was about. Bruh. Let me switch it up to that can you flow. Can you feel the love coming from above? Nothing compared to the one from above. Nothing compared to the love of Lord. The chorus in Reaching Out basically just talks about God reaching out for us. Sounds self-explanatory, but what we're trying to get at is a lot of people will have the misconception and the belief um, that Christians believe that we have to work for our for God's love, that there is that salvation only comes with works, that his love is conditional. This isn't true. Uh, we believe that God loves us all um, regardless. So when we're talking about God reaching out, it's God saying, like, hey, my hand's here take my hand like I'm reaching down to you so that you don't have to reach up it's like he's meeting us halfway you know and in my first verse I say I was drowning in the clouds of the doubt that I bring now I'm surrounded in the things that I found within him you seek racks teach lads to be hard we receive backlash for facts sit back and laugh self-explanatory the beginning I basically say that I was I was in doubts about myself I didn't believe in myself I didn't know who I was uh, and that was until I came to know God now I can stand firm believe what the Bible says about me, believe everything God says about me and know that I am loved and I can love myself. And the second part talks about um, how sometimes we receive backlash for our belief. Some people will mock and prod at our faith. It does happen. And when I say I can sit back and laugh, it means that I can sit back and go, well, you can say these things to me. It's, it doesn't hit me in my heart that way, you know, because I can stand firm and say, actually, I believe and have confidence in, in 
God says I am, you know? And in that sense, it's like, are we taking God's hand when he's reaching out to us? Or are we taking the hand of people, you know? And I'd rather choose God's and that's what reaching out means to me. Okay, God bless you lot. Since I met you, I don't care about them. My problems are far and no longer got them. Je suis sur ta suite, me problem. Rise above that, pull me out yeah, my grave. When it feels like I'm drowning, when I can't see the light, yeah. You're the one reaching out for me constantly. When it feels like I'm falling.